Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve lead code SQL problem 511, which says gameplay analysis 1. Okay. We are given a table called activity, which has four columns, player ID, device ID, event date and game split. Here, player ID and event date together is the primary key of this table. And this table shows the activity of players of some games. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, possibly zero, before logging out on same day using some device right okay we are asked to write a sql query to report the first login date for each player and we can return the result in any order okay the query result should be in the format of the following example okay let us take this example now so we have a player id a device id a even date and the number of games played okay and uh, we have uh, two logins for player one and one login for player two and two logins for player three and what we are asked to do is we need to find the earliest login date which means we have the player id one here and uh, they have logged in two times right 2016 301 and 2016 502 and uh, this 2016 0301 is the earliest date so we should return this and if you see in the player id two there is only one date so that is the earliest of all the dates right so this is going to be uh, should be in the output and for the player id 3 we ha again have uh, two dates here so we should be returning the uh, earlier date which means uh, we should return this 2016 0302 so that is what uh, we have here in the output table right okay before we start writing the query we'll see the logic behind how we are going to solve this and then we can get our hands dirty by writing the SQL query. So let me copy paste this table over here. And if you see in this table, so here uh, we are not concerned about this device ID or the games played uh, because our output doesn't require those things. We are only concerned about the player ID and event date. So what we could do is we need to find the earliest date. So we need some type of a ranking system to rank the earliest date at the top and the later dates at the bottom. So before we actually give a ranking system to, th to this we need to do a partition so what i'll do is i'll just partition this by the player id so in that case what we'd have is we would have a partition for one like this and we would have a partition for two like this and we would have a partition for three like this okay now after we do the partition we need the earliest date at, at, at the top so we we need to order the event date by ascending order so here this e this is already in the ascending order so it's not a problem um, but in order to pass all the test cases, we should uh, basically uh, do this ascending order on the event date. So now we have did two things. One is we have partitioned by the player ID and then uh, we are ordering by the event date. Now as soon as we did that, we need to give some ranking system to, to this. Now what ranking can we give? Uh, basically there are three types of ranking. Uh, one is rank, another one is dense rank and third one is row number. So row number is the most simplest of all. It just gives uh, auto increment numbers for every partition so this is the first partition and this would get the rank 1 here and this would get the rank 2 here right and this is the second partition and this gets the rank 1 here and this is the third partition this gets the rank 1 and this gets the rank 2 okay so now that we got the ranking system we need to return the earliest date and all those earliest date are in the ranking 1 so now we could either give a subquery or we could save the table as a common table expression and then we can query from the common table expression okay so now we need to return result wherever this rank is equal to one so here this rank is equal to one and here the rank is equal to one so now that we understood the logic let's go ahead and query this out okay so now we are given this table called uh, activity so i'll write from activity so from activity we need to select we need to select the player id right we need to select the player id and we need to select the event date and then we'll we are going to rank them right so i'll write row number so because row number is the rank that we are going to use and uh, this is going to be partitioned by this is going to be partitioned by the player id and uh, this is going to be ordered by the event 
date okay so now let me run this uh, to see the output and uh, after we understand the output we can take it further from there so here we have player id event date and row number here so we can see this 1 2016301 has got the first rank and uh, the 1 2016502 has got the second rank similarly we have for 2 we have for 3 and and the again we have a second rank for 3 right and now we can basically alias this as let me alias this as rank and what i'll do is i'll just save this into a common table expression oops so for common table expression you need to type with common table expression as okay so after we successfully write the common table expression now we need to query from the common table expression so from cte we need to select all the rows where the rank equals to one okay so now we should uh, select the player id so i'll go ahead and write select player id and uh, we need to select the event date right so i'll copy this event date here so event date as here they mentioned first login so i'll write first login over here and now we can run this query okay this answer is accepted now let me go ahead and submit this query to see whether this passes all the test cases okay this is passing all the test cases i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any other solutions to the same question feel free to post down in the comments and uh, if you have any comments concerns uh, please post them also in the comments and i will see you soon in another video thanks for watching